Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, another morning getting ready for work. So I wanted to go ahead and just get ready with you guys. So I have a few products here. Again, I've had in my drawer where I need to try these products. So I want to go ahead and try this guy out from ColourPop, the Nude Mood Palette. I did recently haul this one. I also still have these Complex Culture brushes that I want to go ahead and try out. I have some Hey Honey Concealer. I still have these guys I had gotten from Sephora. I have yet to try out. I think actually that would be cute. A Nude Eye and a Bolder Lip. I also have these guys. So actually a lot of products are from the Ipsy. From the Ipsy. So just trying out some few products with you guys, getting ready. So if you guys are interested in seeing the look that I come up with, then go ahead and keep watching. Alright, zooming you in a little bit more. So I did go ahead and do my brows, of course, and I have primed and set my lids. I did go in with the shade Bluffin right here. So last night I was looking at the swatches picture I had of this guy. And I really, really like this one. But I also really do like this one, so we'll see maybe with both. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with Bear to Wear. That guy right there. Start the transition. And actually, I don't have a mirror. These guys do not bring a mirror, so. <laughs> so she's a bit powdery, a little bit powdery. But honestly, with all these palettes I've been trying, they have all been powdery. Like my skin color yeah kind of like my skin color <laughs> so then I think I'm gonna go into oh natural yeah going with oh natural it's actually a pretty color the doors open Take that hot road and hop in You open That's pretty We should be close and friends If you open Alright, so I think I'm going to jump into a little bit of The Coco Which is A matte with Some Glitters in it but I know I can tap off the glitter in that. You can see some of the fallout there from the... Yeah. So going with that one, tapping off the brush. It's just a little bit of that guy on the crease. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, and works out as a matte. Powdery, and she's good as new. So now I'm gonna go into a little bit of moody. I think maybe keep that on the outer corners. I like how it's not super deep, so I can start off lighter and then build it. Alright, so now jumping into the shimmers, I think maybe I want to go 
again do two shades one in the middle and then one in the inner lid so i will go ahead and do those two that i really liked put on hairs and then this guy wink wink on the inner so i'm gonna start with this one in the middle and i do have this complex culture brush i want to go ahead and try out so we have this one precision eyelid so it's a little bit bigger than my usual ones so i think i'm going to use this one for the center and then use another one for the inner because it's kind of large for the inner so we'll see oh i know these kind of shades are better with your finger so let's see the way she's approaching us, I disassociate, exfoliate, the renegotiate, she's closing up, come to visit me, she say that she the loneliest, and it's hard to open up, open you up like a pokeball, open up, tear you out for a pokeball, let your emotions walk, fall Make sure that's not that bad with the brush. Open up. So let's try it with the finger, see how that works. Just a little bit more pigment with the finger. But the brush actually did a pretty good job. inner lid well this one I think is a super shot shadow so I think that one works out better with the finger so finger it is oh yeah definitely a super shock very putty like the doors open take that I wrote it happen you open pitch you won't be BM so this one's a little bit sheer, so I have to build that one up. It's cute. Definitely cute. So there's a little bit of fallout there. You can see, don't mind this. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. So that's why now I like to do my eyes before my foundation. <laughs> so I put some foundation on. I went in, of course, with my Joa Truly Yours. Still love this guy. Went in with that one. Then I'm gonna go in with the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Concealer, Active Propolis Cream Concealer. So this one is light to medium, all skin types. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and then also another complex culture brush. This is a concealer brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it with this. So usually I use the same foundation brush I do my concealer with still really love this guy from Luxie gotten in a boxy charm I still love it the Luxie 732 airbrush foundation so this is the precision concealer it's a little bit of an angle so I'm thinking this angle would be good to reach in there so this one is this kind of application. I do have another concealer that is like this. It's also from Joa. And going in with this guy. So, oh yeah. Oh, you can get in there. This one's a little bit, it's kind of dense. Also use it to clean up that edge. Yeah, so this one is definitely brightening. So I did use this one once before, but I used it with my regular foundation brush. Going up smoke. 
This one is actually really, really dense for this, so it feels like it's a bit more concentrated with this. Though I do like how you can get in there. Because usually it's a little bit tougher in there with my regular foundation brush. That's a very, very bright. <laughs> yeah, you see on the viewfinder, very, very bright. So going in, let me set that. Going in with my everyday bakey from Seattle, London. Been really liking that one. So make sure there's no creases. Even though this is a white powder, I don't know if it has with flash photography if it makes you look even whiter, the flashback. Not sure, but I never take any flash photography ever. So for me, don't really care about that. I like that. I like that a lot. And just to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I'm actually just trying to use that guy up. Wow, that's all I have left. Yeah. I'm actually just trying to use up products. I'm not really much of a fan of this anymore. It doesn't have that cooling effect anymore. So I'm just trying to use it up. But wow. I didn't know I had that much progress. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're back. I've brushed away my bake. So now we have some face products. So before I go into the lower lash line, I like to go ahead and start off with the face. So I have this Ofra Bronzer in Americano gotten this one in an ipsy so this guy's a little bit warm so i'm not sure if i can go ahead and use this as contour maybe just bronze off the face and i also have this complex culture press and set bronzer brush so i still have this guy to try out so let's see here we go Oof so so soft sadly I'm about to get it dirty really nice so kind of seems more for contour so we'll see because this one is warmer and it did look shimmery when I swatched it it did look shimmery so let's see we should be close to the friends if you OB and uh, engaging Yeah, bit powdery as always. <laughs> so just to set away. You OB and we should be close to the friends. If you OB and try and spread that out. Cause oh boy. Blending that out. Yeah, I would say this one is more for contour than bronzing. But yeah, it evened out. Still battling with that guy. Just hate when I get pimples. They tend to linger or always leave a dark spots. Always, always. So this bronzer actually looks nicer than I thought. I like that. I actually really like the brush. So this actually worked out. I really thought it would be too, too warm, but it blended out nicely. 
So again, another cheek product we have from Auto Ball Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go. It's another one I had gotten from Ipsy. So we have all of these guys. So I have blushes, and then I think I can definitely go in with that guy as highlight. So I think for blush, I might actually just mix all three of them. Again, another powdery one. So tap that off, because I don't know how the pigment is. Looks like it might be pigmented. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. This is why I like to go ahead and use it on both cheeks. That's pigmented. So I'm trying to blend that out. Rosy cheeks. Here we go. With this brush, it blends it out better. Definitely better. Oh boy, that's a lot of pigment. So she's pigmented. So again, since before I go in with highlights, I like to go ahead and just finish off the eyes. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Let's try a little bit of Mugged Off. It's another one that is a matte with some shimmer in it. Let's see if I use this brush, same complex culture brush. And tap that off. First impression. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I finished off the eyes. So I went in for the inner corner and brow bone beaming. I went in with this guy, phase zero. This is the nude newbie pressed eyeshadow. It's another one I had gotten in Ipsy again. I had used this one as highlights, so this time I used it as an actual eyeshadow for the inner corner, brow bone, blinding, blinding. So on the water line, I went in naturally with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Whiskey, of course. And then for the top, I've actually been really, really loving this guy. This is Catherine Natural Cosmetics Eyeliner Solution in Royal Plum. Which I think uh, was BoxyCharm that I got this a few months back. So it's like this really... It's like a plum color. I've been really, really liking this guy for up there. I've also used it on my waterline. Again, just not going black. I really, really like this. Especially for looks like this. I really, really like that. And then I've actually discovered a new mascara combo. Oh yeah. So I first go in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. This is one that I got in on Influencer a while back. Gotten that one. And then I go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I guess kind of like a lifter and separator and then a volumizer. Yeah, and I get that. That's nice. Really, really, really nice. So, discovered a new mascara combo. <laughs> Trying to organize my drawers. So, now that I finished off the eyes, I can go ahead and go back into this guy. Going into this guy for highlight. Fifth Avenue. So, it's a pinky one. You know, for a lighter skin tone, they can't really use this one as highlight. You can use it as a... 
blush topper which would be really nice actually since it does have a pink tone but on me and my medium skin tone it does work as a highlight cool build that up and yeah remember when I swatched it thought it would actually work out for me just blending that out so it's not such a harsh line this is why I like using this brush which is the SL Miss Glam L36 brush I think this is also another one from Ipsy. I actually did this one as an add-on because they never choose the SL Miss Glam brushes for me. Which I always, always want. That is nice. Yeah. A lot of kickback. So I used the Bliss Pore Patrol mask last night and... My pores are doing good today, so anytime I use that mask, my makeup application is a lot better. Alright, so put some lip balm on. Just my usual Glow Recipe lip pop. Trying to prep the lips. But I do want to go ahead and set a little bit with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Yeah. Here we go. So all we have left now is the lips. So I have two products here I had gotten from a small Sephora haul I had done. So I have here the Sephora Flash Jumbo Lip Pencil. It says it's a matte. In rapid nude I'd gotten this one for three dollars three dollars thought it would be a great color for spring and since we're doing a neutral eye look let's do a pop of color on the lips but oddly enough with this guy no it does go up hmm. so oddly enough for this guy I purchased him and then when I tried to link him in that video it said it was not available for purchase in the US. Odd because I just bought it so I don't know what happened there but yeah. Open up. I like with this guy you can line your lips and then fill them in. Actually nice. So my usual struggle when I put on lip balm first is getting the pigment off. So I guess going in on the sides to fill in because I don't want to lose that point. <laughs> so not as bright. As I thought maybe that's because I went in with the lip balm first that usually kind of diminishes the pigment in items unless it's a liquid lipstick so just layering some so the next product I have here is from Jouer this is the dual chrome high pigment high pigment pearl lip gloss and I got this one in the shade Beach Days. So like I mentioned in that video, I previously bought another one of these guys, which was a little bit more golden. This one's a little bit more pink. And actually that golden one, I really like it on top of orange lipsticks. It looks really, really nice. Makes it, makes it look more wearable, I guess you could say, because I don't really go for that gold lip look. 
I can do blue lips, I can do green lips, but gold, yeah. Wow, actually. So I was kind of doing a combo last night, playing with some makeup. I didn't wear makeup all day yesterday. I was off along with my husband. This actually looks like the lip combo I did last night with a product that is no longer for sale because it was a holiday item. So this could be a good alternative. Request my chariot. That's pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah. I like that a lot. So let me go in with this guy again. The this is the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. So weird. Weird. <laughs> is really really weird but I do like the product inside I think it actually made my skin look really nice yeah so there you have the completed look for today it's actually gonna be a very short work shift since I'm really close to 40 hours so I only work four hours and 17 minutes today that is it then I am at my 40 hours so a quick little recap, yeah, I do really like the lip products. I have to see how they wear throughout the day, but yeah, I figured I would really like this guy. I figured, yeah, I really like that. So as far as the brushes, I like them actually. I loved how this one actually performed. It worked with that shadow since usually finger works best but this guy actually it packs it on really well it packs it on really well I like this guy how he can actually reach inside that little crevice right in there I actually really like that though it's a little bit dense a little bit too dense for my liking but I like how it can reach in there this guy I really really like I really like him yeah it worked out really well I love how soft it is really liked that and actually enjoy the bronzer I guess I liked it because of the brush it was able to blend it out I loved how it wasn't too warm it wasn't as warm as I was expecting so it still worked out for a little bit of contour it still worked out so I like that I have here the hey honey trick-and-treat concealer so I think I want to play with it a little bit more but it looks nice. It looks nice. I'm trying to see if I smile, if I get that. No, it actually looks good. Yeah, it looks good. So, this is only the second time I've tried this, so I still haven't gathered my thoughts, but it was nice. I like it. And then for the Auto Bomb Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go, I really like this. And that highlight, yeah. So I gotta be careful with the blushes. They're very pigmented, so maybe go in with a lighter hand. But it was actually really nice. I really, really like that a lot. And then as for the ColourPop Nude Mood, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely really like this guy. I like the look I created. I liked how all these shadows blended together. I liked it. Really, really like this guy. When it first came out, I did really want it. I didn't get it. I held off, but I still really wanted it. So I guess that's the way to shop without actually having to, you know. I guess it's better to wait a little bit, see if you still want it, and then get it afterwards. Because sometimes impulse shopping is not good. Not good, but 
yeah i actually really liked all the products for today i liked everything so today was a good one all right so that would be it for today's video i just went back there to put on some earrings so now that we're done with today, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video because I do have my subscription boxes coming. Finally, Boxy Charm is coming because I've been seeing all these videos. Everyone already received theirs and I'm still waiting. My label was just created. So today is already the it's the 9th. The 9th, usually I already received it the 10th. Mm, I'm sad. But I'm excited to have some new content coming up. So make sure to stay tuned for those. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.